what do I think about all of these people or all naturals or all of these naturals now switching over to relaxers? What is my thought on this topic? Well, today, if we are going to get through this, we have to do it together. And by together, I mean without the bullshit. So if you are somebody who is easily offended, I want you to see I am laying in my bed. I'm in a great mood. So if you're not and you want to argue, go argue with your boyfriend. Um, as we hop into this, before we get started, why don't you guys go ahead and subscribe here to my channel? And then once you subscribe, be sure to go ahead and click on that bell notification so you're notified every time I post another video. If you haven't subscribed to my podcast yet, then you should probably go ahead and do that. You should. On one of my videos, someone asked me, you know, do a video on people going natural on everybody going natural now and what you think about it and my response my initial response was no I want to I don't want to make a video on this topic because it's stupid remember if you are in here you are somebody who is not easily offended so I need you to keep it that way to be quite honest I'm surprised that things went on as long as they did because my predictions were that things would have ended like five or six years ago year after year after year after year they were always able to transition the narrative into different things that's why there's so many different different hacks it's not that all of these people have all of these great ideas but everything gets old after a while and every time one thing got old they will come to you guys with a new hack and there we go the no oils the no butters the rice water the apple cider vinegar no washing your hair the hanging your head upside down the monostat because at the very beginning everybody was using monostat but of course Every time a new fad dies out and a new one replaces it, no one remembers the fad before that. Like nobody remembers putting um, um, yeast infection cream on their hair to help it grow. Nobody remembers that. Nobody wants to talk about it. You know, put monostat, mix monostat in your conditioner and professional cosmetologists were telling people to do this. And because professional cosmetologists or professional hairstylists or people that you guys thought were professionals were telling you, hey, put monostat in your conditioner, mix monostat with your everyday products, then this opened the door for so many different things. Because it's like, okay, if the professionals don't have a professional way to do something, then everyday people are just going to make stuff up. And that is exactly what happened oh i got lipstick on my microphone so it is time for me to wash my hair so it's going to be doing a lot of different things in this video just let it do what it wants to do because if we don't we're not going to get through this video so just let my hair do what it wants okay this video this video is going to be based around the three reasons that i believe everybody is leaving the natural community and getting relaxers and all of this stuff right so when you think about it for anything to last right for anything to stand the test of time it has to have a firm and solid foundation because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how popular you are it doesn't matter how many followers you have it doesn't matter how many likes you have if you do not have something to hold on a, a real foundation on something solid something real something factual then it won't last and that's all that happens happened so we have no weave because see to me no weave came first they was like oh weaves is bad wear your natural hair weaves is bad so everybody like oh no weave so stuff got se separated right we have women who wear their natural hair over here and women who wear weaves and extensions over here so we like oh this my natural hair weaves are bad extensions are bad um they make your hair fall out you shouldn't wear them and all black women just jumped on the bandwagon which made no sense because 
all a sewing is is a newer version of the type of extensions and protective styles that our ancestors used to do our ancestors used to wrap yarn and and freaking sheep's wool or any type of animal wool around their hair as a way to extend it as a way to keep their hair stretched because black women could do it for longer periods of time so as time went on as the generation go on we out of respect we keep the basis of the traditions but we just alter them and change them around and at the end of the day that's all cosmetology all cosmetology all cosmetologists did when it comes to weaves and extensions weaves and extensions if you look at like the history of black hair and the people who came before us when we look at the way that they preserved their length they did it with different forms of extensions so all weaves are is that different form of that thing but see because the professionalism was extracted from it nobody respects the professional now because anybody can do it so because on the surface it looks as if you did the same thing because the the end result is the same you think that everything is normal and anybody could do it right so we have a connection of dusty stylists who don't know nothing making stuff up and then we have a combination because we got dusty hairstylists but don't nobody respect them so now everybody's on youtube just making stuff up right so as they're making stuff up i want y'all to remember the majority of y'all favorite youtubers still had a hairstylist i wish she will remain nameless just because i don't get down like that but there's one of y'all favorite team natural youtubers that was my client before i got on youtube i she was my client i was growing her hair out i was trimming her hair and after she got a trim she would get online oops sorry after she got a trim she would get online and be like oh point cutting oh this is what i do and as she's sitting in my chair she's asking me questions like oh what's that oh what are you doing with that oh what kind of shears are those or what are you doing and i would answer no problem so then they she would go and recreate videos and then because of the feelings that everybody already had for whatever reason i, I can't speak on that um it was really easy for the narrative to be flipped right they left them hanging right everybody just made up all of these different things as they went along and none of them meant anything because they didn't have foundation none of these things no oils no butters uh rice water all of these things none of them were backed by science and when things aren't backed by science and when i say backed by science i mean when they don't have a foundation when they don't have steps for application then what happens is you're constantly just coming up with a new hack over and over and over and over again so imagine you are a person who just followed the hacks right you just followed the hacks what if you're the person who were who was doing the hacks right if you are the one that's doing the hacks and you're teaching people all of this stuff to do today here on a regular basis right you have hair weathering like nobody's freaking business because you have been every day every week you are trying a different product you're giving yourself a different treatment you're trying a new hairstyle and even though you think your hair should always be in these different styles they shouldn't you need patterns and routines but for whatever reason well not for whatever reason the team natural community made you guys believe you gotta have a different style every day you gotta do all of these things and follow all of these different steps where you should not you should have a very set and a basic pattern you should know your scalp's full profile so once you know your scalp's profile you have a set shampoo and conditioner that you use on a regular basis and you don't switch up up. you're not supposed to have a basket full of products that only happen so you get so they can make money so i want you to think about how many billions of dollars the hair industry made right who made them the money who was doing the marketing who was doing the promotion youtubers they were the ones doing the marketing and the promotion who was the one whose money was that yeah, the hair industry, the black hair industry specifically made 
billions of dollars i'm put the number right here whose money was that it was yours who told you about the products to get the money in the first who told you to about the products that you spent your money on in the first place the youtuber who what was the reasoning behind the youtuber telling you this in the first place the brand so now that the brands are no longer number one and now that these youtubers now have reason number two which is hair weathering right now that all of these different youtubers have all of this form all of these different forms of hair weathering that i told y'all oh i sorry i put the microphone down now that all of these youtubers have all of these different forms of hair weathering that i told y'all about years ago right i told y'all all of this what happened in 2019 i told y'all and before that but i told y'all that they would eventually start to get hair weathering hair weathering takes anywhere between six months five to six months and 15 to 25 years to set in that means that for all everybody who's been teaching y'all everything about everything the team natural community maybe has been going on for the last 12 years and i'm not saying women wearing their hair in this natural state i'm specifically talking about team natural community on youtube youtube has not always been a thing took the 30 years ago youtube wasn't a thing so that's not what i'm talking about i'm not talking about 30 years ago i'm talking about you yeah everybody's coming on with the team natural thing when you think about it that was like 12 years ago so if hair weathering takes anywhere between uh five to six months and, and about less 25 years to set in this is around the time that people's stuff is starting to set in so this is why i always tell y'all to learn the science because when you learn the science then nobody can sell you bs like a lot of y'all may get mad at me when i say this you may get mad at me when i say this if you do like i'm sorry but y'all have been taking counsel from little girls and this is what i mean by this our bodies and i'm not being disrespectful once we hit 30 our bodies stop producing certain amino acids that we need to produce hair right for for your hair to grow and if your hair isn't growing properly that means that your natural hair growth cycle is set off balance in some way shape or form right and most of the time it's happening from internal sources either something that you're eating wrong or something that you're not eating enough of right so if if your body stops producing certain amino acids once you turn 30 the majority of these women who y'all have been following with all of this rice border stuff have been under 30 when they started making all of these videos rice water this rice water that they were under 30 years old so now that they're in their 30s or approaching their 30s their bodies are no longer producing certain amino acids so for the last 15 years y'all been playing in hair products but it was okay because if you damaged your hair shaft your body was producing so many of these amino acids naturally that it didn't matter you would be able to replace yourself or you could bounce back from hair weathering a little faster just like now i'm 32 so the way that i could eat taco bell at one o'clock in the morning now is not the same way that i could eat taco bell at one o'clock in the morning when i was 21 like i had a stomach like an ox now girl let me eat some uh let me girl let me go eat some taco bell come on that toilet for a year and a half you hear me the core of everything professionals have a foundation and because the professionals have a foundation they have somewhere to go there's somewhere else to build from to build on top of instead of just simply pulling stuff out your butt that you've read online and throwing it at the wall and making stuff up all you got to do is this just put a little rice nipple juice on your hair just buy this product and this will be fixed just buy this and this will be fixed and then you buy it and the very next week so you don't even have enough time for the product that you just bought to start working before your favorite youtube tell, youtuber tell you to buy another one and before you know it you got 
10 different products from 10 different brands that you using on the same wash day. So as a result, all of y'all been doing this for years. Like this isn't something that just popped up yesterday. It's something we talking about now, but it's not something that just popped up yesterday. It's not. It has been going on for years. For years. Years, I tell you, years. Years. And I know, I know it's been going on for years because it's one of the main reasons that I made a decision to leave the hair industry. Because I was always one of those cosmetologists that was focused on the science of hair. Always focused on the science of hair. But when the team natural community started, women say, man, fuck the science, nigga. Like if shit about no science though. We care nothing about no science. It was like dang. Like I, I don't I'm not gonna force myself on nobody. And it was like they really, really want the science. So I mean they really don't want it. They really want instant gratification. So I had to make a choice. Am I gonna be integral and stay on my ground and not conform? Or am I gonna fold and just give in for money? And I'm, I'm, listen, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things in this world that I do. But I never fold. I never sell out. Like, that's why when y'all be like, oh, tell us how to do it. Hairstyle is whack. No, they not. Y'all just been going to them raggedy ass hairstylists. But it's some dog ass hairstylists out there. And I was one of them. You just got to know how to find them. What? All of the products are all used up once these brands aren't really paying the price that they want them to pay. Because remember, when they first started making the videos, a lot of them didn't even know that they can get money from it. Was no found we had no foundation, right? So because there's no foundation, when the people who taught them the stuff leave, it's like, oh my God, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Like, what do we do? So nobody knows what the hell to do. Nobody has any foundation set that they can go back to. So they're like, oh my God, I'm just, forget it. I'm just going to go back to what I remember. And what everybody remembers before they went natural was what? Before people went natural, what did what were they doing? They were unnatural. Or what you call unnatural, they had relaxers. So everybody's going back to relaxers and a lot of people are like, oh, in their feelings when it's like, oh, when somebody says it was, I don't know what her name was. And I don't want to include her in this, but she made a video saying that the team natural community failed and everybody was like, oh, they didn't fail. But yes, they did. The definition of failure is when you attempt to do something and the mission is not accomplished. The mission was for black women not to necessarily grow hair, not to necessarily have healthy hair, but for them to know their hair. Black women still today in 2022 know absolutely nothing about their hair. Still today, right now. Black women still think that dirt makes their hair grow. Uh, a lot of women think or whoever however you identify people who follow the stuff in the natural community they still believe all of this stuff women are still arguing about if whether or not they need to oil the scalp and grease the scalp because the team natural community didn't teach black women that their scalp already produced oil so instead of the team natural community teaching black women that their scalp already produced oil and how to get it out and how to spread it across the hair shaft, they taught you that you don't have oil. And so you have to put oils on the scalp. So everything that the team natural community went took everybody and put them in reverse. So instead of women because women came to the team natural community because they're like okay i'm not going to do relaxers so i'm gonna come over here and learn how to do my hair but in reality women ended up worse off than they were before because now you've went from oh i have no idea what to do with my hair like what what is going on with my texture to i am spending freaking 10 percent of my of my uh paycheck on hair products and i'm still not getting anywhere nobody understood all you have to do is wash your hair and then style it set that style for a certain period of time 
and then come back when it's time to wash it and do it all over again think about the woman with hair the longest you've ever seen she wears her hair the same way every day oh my god what do i do now now i'm just gonna go back to relaxers because this is the only thing i know because i still don't know anything about my hair the only thing the team natural taught black women how to do is layer products on top of their hair that's it and it taught you how to take all of the things that professional cosmetologists do and learn how to do a quicker easier version of it at home that is what you guys said and learned that was no foundation so now everybody's going back to relaxers and this is the last thing that i'm going to say the problem with that is people think that the texture of their hair is the problem and the texture of your hair is not the problem the problem is your lack of patterns and your lack of routines and don't get mad at me your lack of consistency and the laziness because most black women are really lazy when it comes to their hair like just be honest if we could just be honest with each other things would be okay most of us are lazy we don't want to do our hair so we want the easy way out so you're easily of course you're going to go to the person who tells you the easy route out but if you go to a professional a professional gonna tell you girl it ain't no easy way you gotta do this but you don't want to hear that because you want the easy way so that's you went down the easy road and the easy road is quick and easy for a reason all right and the people that went that took you down the easy road didn't they don't have problem solving skills or solutions because there's no way you can have a a a a a, a solution to a problem when the problem that you the when the cause of the problem had no foundation to begin with so you can't even go back and pull it apart cuz you don't know you don't know why you're mixing eggs essential oils eggs and essential oils in a conditioner that's already formulated you don't know why you're doing it you're just doing it because she told you to there's no foundation so then when you get hair weathering from you using that essential oil you don't even know where to look to see how it started because you don't even have the foundation understanding that an essential oil must be mixed with a carrier oil. You will read an article about Elanga Lang oil increasing sebum production, but you miss the part where you're only supposed to use it for about two weeks. Because once it starts producing the sebum, it never stops unless you stop using the product. So you can go from low sebum production to cerberic dermatitis or dandruff which is an overproduction of sebum from you simply adding too much of an essential oil to your scalp <laughs> but because you don't have a foundation of science because you don't have a foundation as an herbalist or because you don't have a foundation just reading a book from reading rainbow brands attempt to keep their money in their pocket with this study on relaxers because this is the thing black women have been getting relaxers longer than most of the women who are watching this video have been alive okay and there are two groups of people who get relaxers there are people who do relaxers themselves at home or let their home girls do their relaxers at home and there are women who get relaxers done in hair salons by professional cosmetologists for them to have a study they have to have test subjects who are these test subjects before anybody tells me anything about a study let me know who these samples were taking from most of the test subjects in this study that everybody want to talk about now with relaxers were women who were doing relaxers at home themselves if you talk to most black women who got relaxers when they was little they hated relaxers because they would have scabs in their scalp why is that their mothers weren't basing their scalps right i remember one time my auntie gave me a relaxer and based my scalp with blue magic yes it's petroleum but it's not a form it's not a formulation strong enough to block the relaxer or it wasn't based at all 
or black women believe that you supposed to scratch the dandruff or not just black women people in general scratch the dandruff off and then give each other relaxers or your kids will be at home scratching their head and then they get a relaxer the the relaxer and the chemicals and relaxers are only causing cancer when they have access and they get past the epidermis of the skin period it has to get past that first layer of skin for it to cause any type of side effects whatsoever within the body. So um, my next question to you, this is why I say who are the test subjects? Because I've never met a woman who's been going to a professional hairstylist. And let me say this, just because somebody in a hair salon does not mean that they doing it right. That's why you need to know the science of hair so you know who to pick. Because just because somebody is doing hair in a shop don't mean that they doing it right. Just like you don't you take don't you take your your car to auto repair shops that's trash and then another one that's dope. It just depends on the mechanic that you find. The auto repair shop that you find. <laughs> So when we talking about relaxers, I've been I did hair for 15 years. None of my clients have cancer. One of them, a couple of them do, but it was not caused by their relaxers. First, first, the first the money's played with. So the money started being played with when the YouTubers started saying, hey, I'm about to open up my own product line. I don't need you no more, Shea Moisture. I don't need you no more as I am. I don't need you no more. I have my own product line. I'm selling my own herbs. I'm selling my own products. I don't need you anymore. What's the first thing? So now, now that everybody's like, oh shit, like, okay, now we got to go through this stuff with these product lines. You had the issues with that. So then now we, we passed that. We passed that, the product stuff. So now everybody like, you know what? I'm going to just go back natural. So if every, if the majority of the women who turn the hair care industry, the, 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 the team natural hair care industry, if everybody's like, okay, I'm done with this. And now I'm just going to get a relaxer now. What in the fuck are all of these natural brands going to do? If all of the women who made them millions of dollars are no longer buying natural products again. If everybody gets a relaxer, nobody's buying co-wash. Nobody's buying stuff for the lock method. Nobody's buying all of these oils and butters. Nobody's doing any of that. Nobody's buying pre-poo treatments anymore. If black women start going from natural hair to relaxers, People lose so much money. And when I'm talking about people, I'm not talking about other black people. I am talking about these big box brands who you guys have been buying products from. Because I don't care if it says it's for black women. It has not been produced by black women. So now that black women are now deciding not to feed into the whole team natural stuff. And they're no longer making billions of dollars. They starting to see their money crash. They like hold the fuck up. We got to figure out what we going to do. We got to scare them somehow and make them come back over here. Because we can't go from all natural hair care to relaxers. Products for relaxers. We got to at least make them feel like relaxers is bad. Because they like we can't make no products for relaxers. But we can make heat training products. We can make some heat protectors, but we can't make no we can't make no relaxers. That's too much. That's too far outside the brand. That'll take too much for marketing. <laughs> so instead of them doing that, they sit down and they say, "Okay, bet. Let's do fear. Fear works every fucking time. Fear works every single time." 
I remember I made a video years ago and I told y'all that Dr. Oz had reached out to me and Dr. Oz wanted to use one of my videos about relaxers and was like oh relaxers cause fibroids they were trying to go on that shit and that's when the team natural community first started in the beginning in the first place and I have a video here on my channel I'll try to insert it here Dr. Oz and them straight up reached out to me it was like hey I want to use this video on relaxers and what it was it was a client whose daughter whole back of her head was bald from relaxers but who guess who did the relaxer her mama did at home and after her mama did the relaxer at home the daughter went and tried to put color on her hair and her hair came out so she was skin bald that's what happened so dr oz and his team reached out to me and was like hey we want to use your video and i said okay well what do you want to use it for can you explain it to me because not to mention if they're going to use my video they're going to use my video if i give them permission to use my video they can use it however they want they can splice it they can cut me out of it they can they can cut my words out and put somebody else's audio on top they can do whatever they want so I said okay well let me know like what what exactly is it about like what what exactly is it about and then she straight up went into like oh relaxers cause fibroids and we're gonna be using your video as an example on how relaxers cause fibroids and I'm like no no I'm sorry you can't use my video I swear to god I'm going to find the receipt I'm gonna put it right here like I said, no, you cannot use my video to paint that narrative. That's not what happened. And relaxers don't cause fibroids. They don't. I said, y'all need to clearly state that the, the improper use of relaxers causes fibroids not relaxers cause fibroids and then i said if y'all gonna talk about relaxers causing fibroids can y'all then talk about all of the other this has been going on forever it is nothing new